Hey, no name. What's up? <clears throat> I'm just taking a moment to uh, just boot up the game. Ah, shit. Actually, you know what? While that's happening, I forgot to set up my water bottle. Okie dokie, back. And game is all booted up. So I hear average zero addict. How how you how have you been doing on zero? Five hours to Ooh, yeah, no, that is quite an addiction. Let's see, do I have my dailies yet, or is it just... Yep, okay. Oh! Oh, I want to show this again, like, when we get more people, but... I got to show... This game I had last night. Oh, yeah, no, no, it was this person. So, um... Last night I was playing, and I was at, I needed just one more win to get to Platinum 1. And so, uh, it's, you know, I jumped in, and this is the game that got me to Platinum 1. Oh shit, I forgot to actually put it to full screen for me. Oh yeah, you can slightly see it. Hold on, let me, let me, let me pause the replay. So yeah, this is me, this is my opponent. Uh, pause. Full screen. Aka! <laughs> so you know, I'm lucky I won the coin flip here, to be honest. Because that, he apparently had, he had no hand traps or anything, so I was able to just go off unhinged. <laughs> Terrifying it. Yo, that's so close to ABBA. You gotta get hit by copyright. Honestly, we can just fast forward through my opening turn. <clears throat> See, I set one fog blade. That's important. Then overlay for break sword. In this game, I no longer know how to make Phantom Knight combos that don't end in Dark Requiem. Because look, so summon those two, overlay for Dark Rebellion, use Silent Boots, search the rank up magic, and Dark Requiem. <clears throat> so now it's my opponent's turn. They go second. It's five back row and pass. To which I'm like, okay, I'm shitting bricks. I draw Raigeki, which is the polar opposite of what I want. I know I can. I just chose not to. I just... My thought process was like, if they have a way to remove Dark Rebellion, I still want to play... I, I want to play the thing. Or, no, no, my... It's... The process is, um... I want to get Dark Requiem on the field as soon as possible, because if my opponent activates a monster effect and I have to chain the rank up magic in response when I would want, it's an effect I want to negate, then that's just a missed opportunity to stop my opponent. And also, yeah, there would be no point in doing it on my opponent's turn because yeah, sure, uh, Rusty Barty should let me pop a card, but Dark Requiem lets me summon monsters with its negate ability. 
And so the, essentially, the sooner I get Dark Requiem out, the sooner I can start negating my opponent's stuff and summoning Xyz monsters from the grave. So there's like literally no point in waiting. But anyway, so what does he do? Skill Drain, Sanguine, Summons Golden Lord. I go, well, fuck me with that Skill Drain. And not only, not only do we have Skill Drain to worry about, but the order is Imperial. So no monster effects for me, no spells for me. <clears throat> so my game plan at this point is protect Dark Requiem. As long as Requiem is the biggest boy on the field, I'm still in this. This is really good damage because that Imperial Lord is gonna start draining his life. <laughs> yeah, stay on my face, take 700. Then Golden Lord sends Torrential Tribute. So I'm like, all right, yeah, let me max C here. Let me draw off of this. And what do I draw into with my max C? Give it a moment. Another, oh, oh, no, no, no. Was the, oh no, that was a different game. No, I draw into a fog blade, which is actually, which is so good. So I fog blade the golden lord here. So I'm like, all right, keep dark requiem alive. There's another 700 for him. I set my other fog blade in a corner that I know is not in uh, impermanence. Conquistador gets rid of my fog blade. No worries. Dark Requiem is still the biggest boy on board. All right, there goes Rusty. I'm perfectly fine with that. My turn draw. Hey, look, Twin Twisters. It's a shame I'm still under Imperial Order. <clears throat> so, you know, can't do anything. Just pass to my opponent. They take 700 for standby phase. Then Golden Lord sends two to get rid of Dark Requiem. I chain Dark Requiem for shits and giggles. Maybe he'll forget the fact that Skill Drain is active and negate it, but no, no. Skill Drain stops it. Goodbye, Dark Requiem. I'm now shitting bricks. I'm like, what do I do from here? He gets re Dark Requiem's gone, so there goes my entire game plan. He summons Golden Lord. Links off the Conquistador into a Link Spider in order to use uh, Conquistador's Graveyard effect to set another uh, Eldritch card. So I use Fog Blade to target the big Eldritch just so I take less damage. And then during the end phase, he sets Eldlixer Scarlet Sanguine off of the uh, Conquistador. Well, it's my turn. What do I draw but Psychic Tracker? Link Spider's only a thousand attack points. And during the standby phase, he takes 700 from Imperial Order, putting that at 200 life. An Elemental Hero Burstinatrix is good enough to end this duel. So Psychic Tracker would do the job just fine. So I summon, I summon my Torn Scales in attempt to use both Torn Scales and Psychic Tracker because I was getting greedy. Vanity's Emptiness. He flips over Vanity's Emptiness. So, what am I dealing with the back row here? No special summons, no monster effects, no spells. No fun! But in response, I chained Fogblade from the grave to resurrect Rusty, that he destroyed oh so nicely during his second turn. And what does he do? Scarlet Sanguine to summon another Eldlich. I'm like, oh hey, that's neat, but there's one thing that he completely forgot about. summons the golden lord i summon my rusty vanities resolves and at the end of the chain scarlet sanguine goes to grave triggering vanity's emptiness killing itself and my opponent looks just looks at the field goes oh wait rusty's going to attack into my link spider and that's game Oh, that was when this was happening this was such a tense game 
even under skill drain and imperial order, I could not be stopped. <laughs> Alright, we'll go second. Yeah, what you been doing today, No Name? How have your uh, have you been winning a lot in your five hours of zero? Oh god, Synchro Spam. Uh... I'm fucked. You see, you see this with like the junk speeder and spam monsters that's gonna be it's gonna be like that for the next three minutes <clears throat> Hold on, are those uh oh ah, would you look at that I don't, I don't remember what these plugs are called I just remember seeing them on TVs all the time Okay, charge. <clears throat> what gives it the extra 500 or 300? Ah, all warriors gain 300 attack. Okay. Okay, Crystal Wing. So that's one monster negate I have to get over. Okay, there's a Stardust. That's cool. This is Formula Sync Run, right? Yep. Synchro for shooting Star Dragon? No, okay. Oh, oh. I expected more, to be honest. Twin Twisters. Well, first is first. I'll use Rhoda. Rhoda. 
Okie dokie. I'll grab Shadow Mist. Oh! Mm, those Drea cards on the field. Ah, uh, that's bad. That's bad for me. E. E can grab me Honest Nails. Uh, and then I can normal shadow mist. Battle phase. We run into the crystal wing. Damage step on his Neos. You have something during the damage step, huh? Oh, you can crystal wing during the damage step. God damn it. I'll trigger Shadow Mist at least. Grabbing me Ferris. And then here's where I go main phase two, set up plasma, right? So twin twisters discarding solid man. Oh, called by the grave. You know what? That's okay. That that's fine. Okay, then we use the effect of Ferris, discard Stratos. You have more? Summon Ferris, effect of Ferris. Oh, right, right, he has Formula Synchron's effect that he keeps getting procced for. Like that. Ooh, tuning with the Crystal Wing? Satellite Warrior. Oh, I see. Then we place Increase Spawn Trap Card Zone. Satellite Warrior triggers targeting my Ferris and my Increase. But I have no idea why, but Increase's effect, if in response, moves it to Spawn Trap Card Zone, and it's considered a new card, I believe, something like that? and does not get destroyed by the Satellite Warrior. With this, we summon Vion. With this, Vion's effect triggers, letting me send a hero of my deck to the grave. I will send, I already use Mist's effect, so I will send a copy of Malicious. Activate the effect of Vion, banishing copy of Ferris. Link my two monsters for cross. An effective cross crusader with summon malicious. And then we'll tribute malicious. But we're at an issue here. I tribute malicious. That gets me any hero I want. He still has Star's Dragon, so Malicious Bane will just get negated. And I don't- I can't get a third monster to summon Plasma. 
equipped a card to add from my deck to my hand. I already used my normal summon. Uh, I have Mask Change and Polymerization. Another possible option is grab Liquid Man, use Liquid with Cross Crusader, summon Sunrise, grab Miracle Fusion, draw two, discard one. Actually, I think that'll get me like the most things and go through my deck the most. So I'll grab S Liquid Soldier and Fuse. Use my two monsters for Sunrise. Then trigger the effect of Liquid first, then Sunrise. Gets me Miracle Fusion, and then draw two, disc- Oh! Ah, that super probably would be so much nicer earlier on. I'll get rid of E. Activate the effect of Malicious. Special summon Malicious. I do still have a copy of Honest Neo, so I think I'll summon the Shining. First off, Mask Change, sending Malicious, summon Dark Law. And then activate Miracle Fusion. I could also go for Absolute Zero. Or Great Tornado. Nah, I'm already bigger. I think I'd rather have The Shining. Fusion summons The Shining, and I will end my turn. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, this at least triggers the effect of the Shining, letting me grab Neos and Stratos back to my hand. Ah, that Junk Synchron. Let him revive Converter. He'll tune them together. Converter's effect will activate. Target Tuner, special summon it. And then that's just easily another crystal. Oh no, he summons Formula Synchron. Oh, Stardust Warrior, nice. Eight, thirteen, twenty-five. Oh, wait! I took two damage, two thousand at some point. All right, I'm dead. I should have summoned Absolute Zero. That would have changed things at least a little bit. One one four five one four. Uh, that name sus as fuck. I can kill.
Okay, your hero lives. Oh, they have no responses. I love to see that. Okay, then we trigger the effect of Strato. Search my deck. Ah, crap, he has responses. Defeat the effect of Ferris, discarding this increase in my hand. Ooh, a Gamma. Let's max C the Gamma. So Maxi triggers drawing me a card. Ooh, hey, look, it's a Raigeki. Okay, this summons Stratos, and Stratos' effect will trigger. I will add a Dusted. So if then we use a Dusted. A Dusted grabs um, Dark Dark Calling. We play Dark Calling. Summon Malicious. And then Fusion. I'll fuse a Stratos and Shadow Mist. That summons Sunrise. We then trigger the effect of Sunrise. Ooh, what order do I want to do this? I think I, pr I prioritize the Fusion over the additional card. Next card to add to my hand, I'll take that on as Neos. And I'll take a Miracle Fusion. And then we bring them together. Uh, let's see, in terms of stuff in Grave, let's summon Gaia. Then use this, targeting the driver. Activate the effect of Bane, wiping his board. And battle. Attack with Bane. Attack with Gaia. And easy win. No, I want to use some of these legacy pack tickets because they are literally just sort of taking up space. I remember you. Flip, draw a card, discard a card once a turn. I think I vaguely remember playing this card in a deck I made for a format me and some friends created. Where it was, how do I describe this? It, we, we essentially played like 60 card singleton with no ban list. And I ended up making this sort of like you bell stall deck. And I, that was in it. Oh, hey, look, barrier statue, neat.
I got one half decent card out of all that. Go figure. Let's do one more temple. The Calibrator. Combine ranks of all Xyz monsters times 300. Ah, I see. Oh, hey, look, an SR that I will not use. I actually think I already have a copy of it. This actually looks, like, visually cool. But everything else about it sucks. Ooh, rarity up. The Gavlin King! This card cannot be attacked. Okay, you will number of monsters to deal times a thousand. Huh. DNA Surgery Goblin King? <laughs> Damn, that sucked. Oh, wait, I'm going first. I don't want to go first. Oh, I really don't want to go first. Oh, wow, this hand is bad. Especially if we're going first. Um, Stratos and Paul Watts. Does not matter. So I'm in Vions and Malicious. Malicious Effect, Link. And that gets me a copy of... Again, nothing useful. I mean, I might as well just summon Stratos, search Honest Neos. The problem here in my hand is both of these increases. Uh, yeah, take the Honest Neos and pass. It's going to be asking me that a lot. Shard of Greed. Two Shards of Greed. is another three for Eater of Millions. That's not good for me. Yeah, and Stratos is going into the Stratosphere. Draw for turn. As change is normally cool, but without Liquid Man, it's kind of useless. So I'll use summon Vion, Vion's effect. 
I'll send from my deck to the grave copy malicious and then I do the thing with the cross crusader and what that'll let me do is that'll let me grab a dusted gold dark calling using malicious and dusted and then that summons malicious bane I get rid of that eater millions Three. And then the adust or the malicious would be four. So grab gold. Calling. And howdy ho, here's malicious Bane. Battle phase, attack with Cross Crusader. Brings you down to 64. I can only go up to 50. So oh, ho, ho. I have game. During the battle phase, I play Mask Change on my Cross Crusader. That summons Dark Law. We then attack with Dark Law. I forgot to turn on Chaining. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Oh no! I helped him on accident. I forgot to enable Chaining, and I helped him. Crap. Lava Golem. If he summons a thing... Wait, no, I, you know, I have Lava Golem. Even if he summons a monster, I can ram into it Lava Golem and then summon Increase for game. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's another eater. There goes the lava golem. Okay, riddle me this Batman. What do I do from here? Draw. Mask change. Does not help. And he's about to draw four. Honestly, I think best call here is literally just end the turn. Let him do his thing. A D Fissure, okie dokie. Necrophase, interesting. On the bright side, that puts Eater Millions at zero attack. Ooh, and if I can just beat into the Necrophase. That necroface is my key to victory. Okie dokie, and we draw for turn, and it's Shadow Mist. We normal summon Shadow Mist. Battle phase, attack with Shadow Mist. Their battle is fine. Damage step, Honest Neos. Four game. Go second, please. Ooh. 
Ooh, both right, Geki and Twin Twisters. I'm feeling good about my board breaking capabilities at least. Ooh, Zoo. Most likely Zodiac Tri Brigade. Which means I'm going to need the Twin Twisters the trap card immediately. And then Raigeki everything else. Hey, there's Trident. Sets one. Interesting. So my go. Maxi would have been nice earlier. I'll play E. Then E searches me out just about anything I could possibly want. In this case, I think the thing I want is Shadow Mist. Discard Shadow Mist off the Twin Twisters. Search out Ferris, discard malicious Ferris's things. So, Twin Twisters, action. Mm. Yeah, no, no, no. I need to discard Shadow Mist for this to work. Right, and that was a warning. Okay, so, effective Shadow Mist. That grabs me my copy of Ferris. And slap Raigeki on board to get Dryden out of here. The effect of Ferris, discard malicious. Maxi. He's going to get one draw off of it. But honestly, I do not think I need to do any more than one special summon. The rest I can do on his turn. All right. Place increase spawn trap card zone. Throw down one face down. Battle direct attack. And I will end my turn. Lightning storm, you say? Destroy all spells and trap, buddy. That's kind of dumb of you. That will wipe away my increase, but I can still mask change in response, getting rid of Ferris and summoning Dark Wall. Here's Dark Law, there goes increase. Jar of Avarice, okie dokie. Yep, that's fine. And then Effect of Dark Law, I will rip a card out of your hand. Imperms my Dark Law, that's unfortunate. Pot of Desires, okie dokie, that's more draw. Good job, buddy. Ooh, Tanky.
Okay, Zodiac Ram Ram. Summon Ram Ram, that's nice monster. Here, take the maxi challenge. Okie dokie. Summons a Hammer Kong. I will take the draw. Summons another Dryden. I will. Actually, no, I think it's the same Dryden. Ah, that Twin Twisters is unfortunate. Alright, there goes Dark Law. And my go, I managed to get draw two cards off that maxi. That's not bad. Draw, that's a nice Rota. So normal summon Stratos. Effect of Stratos. I'll add a copy of... Ooh, I could go a Dusted. Ooh, a Dusted is actually looking quite tasty. I could either go Ferris and then use Reinforcement to do, like, Ferris shenanigans. Or I could go with a Dusted. I'll go with Ferris. Then Rhoda. I will grab me a copy of Shadow Mist to discard. Activate the effect of Malicious. Skullmeister. Ooh, that's unfortunate. On the bright side, that means he doesn't have the Skullmeister for my Shadow Mist. So activate Ferris, discarding Shadow Mist. Oh, Maxi! Okay, summon Ferris. Chain link one, chain link two. Okay, place increased spawn trap guard zone. Use that, search my deck for a card. I'll take a copy of, I could go plasma. And then increase special summon. That would be three more special summons, bringing him to five cards in hand, which I ain't a fan of. But I need to remove that Dryden't eventually. Take a copy of the Dusted. Activate the effect of a Dusted. In terms of cards in my grave. Ooh, I can actually fusion summon the Bane now. I think I'll do that. I'll give him one extra card for the fusion summon. So fuse Dark Law. And a Dusted. Activate the effect of Bane. You 
uses Dryden in response. Detach one, targeting. Stratos. Uh, okay, if we think this through, I can tribute Stratos, summon 1900 attack points worth of monsters. 19 plus 16 is 37, 67. I'll actually have enough for game if I respond with increase. Summon destroy, trigger the effect of increase. Summon Vion. Effect of Vion. And he draws the Nibiru off the Vion summon. God damn it. A card sent to the grave. I don't have any more real graveyard effects. Uh, I already shall miss this turn. Let's send malicious to get it out of my deck so I don't draw it. And with that, I will just end my turn. Oh, there's Thoroughblade. Okay, Borbo. Then does like Borbo direct attack summon Zeus, right? Yeah, there's direct attack. Trigger the effect of the increase in my graveyard. I've seen one copy of Vion, so I still have one left in deck. Chaka 9, okie dokie. It's still only two materials for Zeus. Oh, he uses Chaka 9 to get back Dryden. And overlay again. The tiger. Gives Dryden and Nixie's material. There's the Zeus. All right, what do we got? A hero lives, so I want him to blow up the token. Uh, 
both of you are bad for me, but I would like the Dryden't Gone more. And there goes the token. And then a hero lives. And crap. Yeah, that's game. Nah, I'm not gonna bother. Oof, not even a thousand points. Uh-huh. I'm going second. That's not the best. Okay, prosperity. Oh, it's Drytrons. Uh, you know, I'm just I'm just going to save the trouble. You know what? Oh boy. Yeah, oh man, I need to clean up my computer bad. <laughs> 